Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In today's video, we will do part 4 of chapter Polynomials. In previous part, we learned value of polynomial and zero of polynomial. Now today, in this part 4, we will understand factor theorem and factorization of polynomial using factor theorem. So let's start with factor theorem. If Px is a polynomial, then first x minus a is a factor of Px if Pa equals to 0. And second, Pa equals to 0 if x minus a is a factor of Px. Students, let's understand this with the help of an example. Question 1 is Examine whether x plus 2 is a factor of x cube plus 3x square plus 5x plus 6 and of 2x plus 4. To understand this question, let's assume first polynomial be Px and second polynomial be Rx. Now students, we have to examine if x plus 2 is a factor of px and rx. So let x plus 2 be the factor of px and rx. This implies x plus 2 should be equal to 0. So x equals to minus 2. Now let's put the value of x equals to minus 2 in px and rx. If by solving this we get value of both polynomials as 0, then we can say x plus 2 is a factor of px and rx. So let's put x equals to minus 2 in px first. We get p minus 2 equals to minus 2 cube plus 3 into minus 2 square plus 5 into minus 2 plus 6. Minus 2 raised to the power 3 is minus 8 and minus 2 raised to the power 2 is 4. So students, we get P minus 2 equals to minus 8 plus 3 into 4 minus 10 plus 6. Solve it and we get minus 18 plus 18 equals to 0. Therefore, P minus 2 equals to 0. So value of polynomial is 0 at x equals to minus 2. Therefore students, x plus 2 is a factor of Px. Reason being factor theorem. Now let's put x equals to minus 2 in Rx. We get R minus 2 equals to 2 into minus 2 plus 4 which is equals to minus 4 plus 4 therefore r minus 2 equals to 0. So students again value of polynomial is 0 at x equals to minus 2. Therefore x plus 2 is also a factor of 2x plus 4. Reason remains the same by using Factor theorem. Students, let's do one more question to understand factor theorem. Find the value of k if x minus 1 is a factor of 4x cube plus 3x square minus 4x plus k. Students, let px equals to 4x cube plus 3x square minus 4x plus k. And we are given x minus 1 is a factor of px. This implies x minus 1 equals to 0. Therefore, x equals to 1. Now students, put x equals to 1 in px and we should get p1 equals to 0 by using factor theorem. So let's put the value of x equals to 1 in px and find the value of 
k at x equals to 1 p1 equals to 4 into 1 cube plus 3 into 1 square minus 4 into 1 plus k equals to 0 which is equals to 4 into 1 plus 3 into 1 minus 4 into 1 plus k equals to 0. Solve it and we get 3 plus k equals to 0 therefore k equals to minus 3. Now students let's see how to find factors of a given polynomial. Question is find the factors of quadratic polynomial py equals to y square minus 5y plus 6 using factor theorem. Let's first understand what are factors of a polynomial. Students, let's consider number 6. Its factors are 2 and 3. If we multiply 2 and 3, we get 6. In the same way, let's consider polynomial py. Then we have to find two factors ry and sy whose product is py. So let's solve this question now. Here constant term is 6. Let's first write the factors of 6. 1 into 6 equals to 6 and 2 into 3 equals to 6. So students now to find the factors let's put these values in py and check if py is 0. So let's first put y equals to 1 in py and check if p1 equals to 0. p1 equals to 1 square minus 5 into 1 plus 6 which is equals to 1 minus 5 plus 6. Solve it and we get p1 equals to 2. So the value of polynomial is not 0 at y equals to 1. Therefore y minus 1 is not a factor of py. Students note that I have ruled out value 6 as well. This means y minus 6 is also not a factor of py because earlier I explained on multiplying both the numbers we should get 6. If y minus 1 is not a factor of py then y minus 6 cannot be the factor of py. Now let's put y equals to 2 in py and check if p2 equals to 0. We get p2 equals to 2 square minus 5 into 2 plus 6. 2 square is 4 and 5 into 2 equals to 10. Solve it and we get 4 minus 4 equals to 0. So students value of polynomial is 0 at y equals to 2. Therefore y minus 2 is a factor of py. Reason being factor theorem. Now let's quickly check value of polynomial at y equals to 3. We get p3 equals to 3 square minus 5 into 3 plus 6. 3 square is 9 and 5 into 3 is 15. So we get 9 minus 15 plus 6. Solve it and we get p3 equals to 0. So students again we have got value of polynomial as 0 at y equals to 3. Therefore y minus 3 is also a factor of py. Reason being factor theorem. Therefore we can write y square minus 5y plus 6 equals to y minus 2 into y minus 3. Now let's do next question. Question 4 is find the factors of quadratic polynomial py 
equals to y square plus y minus 12 using factor theorem. Students, to find factors of polynomial, let's first find factors of constant term 12. 1 into 12 equals to 12, 2 into 6 equals to 12 and 3 into 4 equals to 12. Now to find the factors of polynomial, let's put these values in Py and check if Py is 0. So let's first put y equals to 1 and check if P1 equals to 0. We get P1 equals to 1 square plus 1 minus 12 which is equals to 1 plus 1 minus 12. So P1 equals to minus 10. So students, the value of polynomial is not 0 at y equals to 1. Therefore, y minus 1 is not the factor of polynomial Py. Similarly, 12 is also not the factor of Py. Now let's put y equals to 2 and check if P2 equals to 0. We get P2 equals to 2 square plus 2 minus 12 which is equals to 4 plus 2 minus 12. Solve it and we get P2 equals to minus 6. So students, the value of polynomial is not 0 at y equals to 2. So this implies y minus 2 is not the factor of Py. So students, we have ruled out 1, 12, 2 and 6. Now let's put y equals to 3 in Py and check if P3 equals to 0. We get P3 equals to 3 square plus 3 minus 12 which is equals to 9 plus 3 minus 12. So P3 equals to 0. So students value of polynomial is 0 at y equals to 3. This implies y minus 3 is a factor of polynomial. Reason being factor theorem. Now let's quickly check if 4 is a factor of Py. Put y equals to 4 and we get P4 equals to 4 square plus 4 minus 12 which is equals to 16 plus 4 minus 12. Solve it and we get P4 equals to 8. So students, value of polynomial is not 0 at y equals to 4. This means y minus 4 is not a factor of Py. Students, by putting y equals to 4, value of polynomial is not 0. But at y equals to 3, value of polynomial is 0. So we should check y equals to minus 4 also. So let's put y equals to minus 4 in Py. We get P minus 4 equals to minus 4 square plus minus 4 minus 12 which is equals to 16 minus 4 minus 12. Solve it and we get P minus 4 equals to 0. So students value of polynomial is 0 at y equals to minus 4. So this implies y plus 4 is a factor of Py. Reason being factor theorem. So we will write y square plus y minus 12 equals to y minus 3 into y plus 4 where y minus 3 and y plus 4 are the factors of polynomial Py. Now let's do last question. Find the factors of quadratic polynomial Py equals to y square plus 11y plus 10 using factor theorem. Again students, to find factors of polynomial, first let's find factors of constant term 10, which are 1 into 10 equals to 10 and 2 into 5 equals to 10. So let's put these values in Py and check if 
py is 0. So first let's put y equals to 1 and check if p1 equals to 0. We get p1 equals to 1 square plus 11 into 1 plus 10 which is equals to 1 plus 11 plus 10. So p1 equals to 22. So students value of polynomial is not 0 at y equals to 1. Therefore y minus 1 is not a factor of py. Students did you notice that there is no negative sign in this polynomial. It means no positive value of y can give the value of this polynomial as 0. So it means we have to try negative values of y. So let's try y equals to minus 1 in py and check if p minus 1 equals to 0. We get p minus 1 equals to minus 1 square plus 11 into minus 1 plus 10 which is equals to 1 minus 11 plus 10. Solve it and we get p minus 1 equals to 0. So value of polynomial is 0 at y equals to minus 1. This implies y plus 1 is a factor of py. Reason being factor theorem. Now let's put y equals to minus 10 in the polynomial and check if p minus 10 equals to 0. We get p minus 10 equals to minus 10 square plus 11 into minus 10 plus 10 which is equals to 100 minus 110 plus 10. Solve it and we get p minus 10 equals to 0. So value of polynomial is 0 at y equals to minus 10. Therefore y plus 10 is also a factor of polynomial. So students, we will write y square plus 11y plus 10 equals to y plus 1 into y plus 10, where y plus 1 and y plus 10 are the factors of this polynomial. So in this video, we learned factor theorem and factorization of polynomial using factor theorem. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then do hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Learning Notebook and make sure to press the bell icon. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.